What's up YouTube? This is Chesna from International Precision Engineering Inc. And today I'm showing our 4 inch rotary table that we've disassembled for adjustment. We've got the table itself with the worm gear and its bearings. It's locking nuts that keep it tight in the frame and the screw with the worm mechanism in it. Frame is pretty standard. Its bearing surfaces are all plain. There's no ball bearings or anything. You've got a locking screw that literally just pushes up against the side of the rotary table. Um, and your worm feed goes in here with another screw that we'll talk about in a minute just to show you the back. Um, no, no ball bearings, all plain ways. The inside of the table is a is the I don't know, spindle, I guess you could call it, with um, spiral grooves there for oil and lubrication. Not too crazy about the two-piece design, but for a hundred-dollar table, hundred and fifty-dollar table, I'm not going to complain. But I took it apart. One of the main reasons I took it apart, I'd actually like to tap holes in here rather than having T-slots. So we'll probably end up building a table that, or a, a fixture that bolts to the face of this. And even if this is a four-inch table where the strength is over, we'd like to be, it'd like to be a little bit bigger so that we can have mounting capabilities and dif different options there. But just to just to show you that this goes in it's pretty good without ball bearings um, the key is if it's adjusted right so I'm not gonna worry about lapping it or anything I'm not not for any of the things that I'm doing one of the one of the things that I really wanted to do was adjust this eccentric um, feature here and what that does is it pushes the screw in and out of the the um, pushes the worm drive in and out of the the gear there and the way you do that is you turn this in the bore and you can see if I turn you might be able to see that little eccentricity there so what you do is you put it in there and spin it to get the mesh that you want and as it wears you can keep adjusting it the problem is it's really tight in here it's really tight in the bore so it's not very easy to adjust and on top of that uh, when you get it in there it just doesn't seem to fit right so I'm not I'm not too crazy about it but again for what it is and what we're doing I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be fine um, and then as I as I said if you tighten this screw it pulls a wedge so that you can tighten and lock down where where you have this set Another thing I'd like to do is take this out because it would get in the way of putting a bigger table on. Or if you had parts on this table, they might hit that little screw. So I'd like to find another option. There is another set screw down here, but I don't. It's not probably not a real good idea to be driving a screw into the side of that bore. But I'll be cleaning it up and. Uh, Tap, drilling and tapping holes in here for mounting our parts and just readjusting these to get it all nice and tight again but uh, it took me a while to figure out that this pulled out I couldn't find any drawings online so it's 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 almost a press fit but not quite a really crappy sliding fit so anyway now you know how to take apart a four inch rotary table from Grizzly. Thank you. Thanks for watching.